So we wicked now, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahshua Bashem Rakakodesh. Shalom to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 out there. Shalom to you all. Uh, this is uh, Chicago Palestinian attack, Wi Fi Israelites. What kind, what really happened? Um, we're wicked because we said that what they did was wrong, which what they did do was wrong. You know, a situation like that where you got to protest, people are they, look, there's going on 10,000 Palestinians that have died inside of a couple of weeks. So they're ready, they're looking for blood. All right. So I'm just going to let you, this this guy right here is uh, the, the head, so-called head of uh, Watchmen for Israel. Uh, so I just want you to listen. I got to get these brothers from Chicago. I thought they were set up through the spirit. So, so bear with me. I want to get these brothers set up through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Right, Salaki, real quick. All right, so I got to get these brothers involved. I mean, these brothers was live on the scene, right? Back to back to back weeks. Chicago Palestinians attack WFI Israelites. What really happened, right? So bear with me, right? I want to get these brothers in, right? And I want to send Salaki the link, right, to get into this thing. Right? I thought they was all set up through the spirit, right? Salaki, bear with me. Right. So lucky, yeah. Right, because um all hell broke loose out there, right? You can see all hell broke loose out there, right? If you didn't see it, I mean it's all over. I mean it's it's world news. Right, it wasn't done in a secret, as the scripture says. This is this was a big deal. Um, it, it's trending uh, on Twitter. It's trending worldwide on social media. We do want to address it, right, and speak about what really happened. Of course, the footage is out there. Not every angle is out there. I mean, we had we have footage out there. We had boots on the ground. We have eyewitnesses. We have the mighty officers of the camp that were out there, who were attacked and defended themselves, and more importantly, defended the name of Yahweh. And also defended their brothers from the vexation and the attacks of the heathen that happened on that day. And, uh, you know, you got a lot. I just want to put this out there. It's a lot of, um, and, and I want to be temperate and mild in my word choice. There's a lot of um, just outright wicked men out in Israel who are looking and looting and, and plotting for brothers to be attacked or saying well why did y'all do this and why did y'all talking about gms we're the only ones that came up against it and then we always we always the guys we're always always a fault guys first of all that was a stupid move that y'all did all right and you were you know what it says about a novice you a novice it says being lifted up with pride you come under the de condemnation of the devil what if some of them guys got shot and killed there's no way in the hell i'm going to be in the middle of a goddamn protest of Palestinians that have right as of right now it's like 10 10,000 Palestinians are uh, that's talking about uh pregnant women infants toddlers old people this that's a genocide right there that's going on um in uh, Gaza that's a genocide so of course they're upset and here you are cursing them out saying all ain't this and all ain't that what you should have did was uh, packed up and just go someplace else. It's just that simple. The scriptures say um, the man, man of the Most High, must not strive. So you you cause that situation when you go out there. If you go out to a motorcycle gang, the Hell's Angels, there's about twenty of y'all, and there's about one hundred and fifty Hell's Angels. Are you gonna go out and call them a bunch of devils? And nah, the scriptures the scriptures say be wise as serpents. And harmless as doves. So that was a stupid move, man. Even King David uh, fled from the enemy when when they the enemy had the upper hand. Read that in the scriptures. Even King David fled from the enemy when the enemy had the upper 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 hand. So you got to be wise in your doings. So he's talking about us. 
Because we're the only ones that's going to, we're the four guys. We're the only ones that if we see something, we're going to say something. The same thing with ISUPK and uh, uh, IUIC having that rumble. If if GMS camp if a GMS camp was there, whether ISUBK came after or before or whatever, we would have we would have packed up and le- leave and go someplace else. What does it say in Matthew's uh, ten? Start from the fifth, sixth verse, seven, eight, going down about around about the ninth, ten verse or so. It says, if they don't accept your peace, then take your peace from them and shake the dust off your feet. Do, you're going to tell uh, Palestinians that are Muslim that their God ain't right. That's not our concern. We're not. Tr- what do you think? They're going to come around and believe in our God? We don't need them at other nations. Our job is to just teach the Israelites. Y'all do that. Why were y'all out there and y'all got carnal and y'all shouldn't attack them and y'all went and y'all, you know, provoked them and, and, he, and, and you know, first and foremost, you, you Negro, you make me sick, man calling us Negroes. He wanted to say nigger. He really wanted to say nigger. All right. So so y'all know this man is full of pride. Instead of humbling down, this man is full of pride. And he's a leader. I wonder if the light skinned bigger brother is, is there with him or he left. I don't know. I, I don't know. I haven't seen him. last time we went back and forth with them was on the uh, Karagma, the Mark of the Beast. And basically in not so many words, he said that we're going off and we're mad men for teaching about the Mark of the Beast. Like we said, the, the Most High is not dealing with this guy. He came in the wrong way. He has a zeal for the Most High, but not according to knowledge. He came in his own way. He didn't come. He didn't come up under the ISUPK, GMS, IUIC. He did come out out to the camp, you know, and saluted us and all that. But what we didn't realize that uh, he was also dealing with uh, Zabak. So you compare G- GMS and Zabak. We teach slightly different things. Number one, the Cornelius thing. Number two, the MOTB. All right? So it says in uh, St. John, the 10th chapter, uh, speaks about coming in some other way. You didn't, come up, you didn't come up under men that were in this thing before you. You listen to, this is like any other group out there. You listen to some videos, you listen to some IUIC videos, GMS videos, some Bach videos. You might go out. This this is what happened with Fopi. What did Fopi do? They went up under the HODC. They broke off from the HODC. They disappeared for about a year, year and change, a good year and three months, I would say, maybe a year. Then they came back on the scene, and the 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 gosh, the, 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 the uh, doctrine was totally different. They said only black people are the twelve tribes. So this man is full of pride. Right. If you now in the case, if you got a camp and people roll up on you, of course, you got to you got to defend yourself. But when you see it's hot out there. Let's say the, the, there's a, a, a chase and there's a little riot going on and the cops get involved and they start shooting guns. Are you supposed to still be out there pull, pulling out scriptures? No, you supposed to you supposed to close up as you supposed to assess what's going on around you, close up. And then go someplace else. See that whole GM, um, um, uh, no cowards. Look, if that was the case, um, when you go back to, uh, there's many uh, instances in the Bible, but one that comes to mind is uh, uh, Acts uh, chapter 5. They beat the apostles. Did the apostles turn around and beat them? When the apostles when, they, when there was 5,000, did they say, well, let's turn around and get them scribes and Pharisees for what they did to the 12? No. They, t- they took the ass whipping. The apostle Paul, he got stoned. He, he got stoned. Oh, he, the, there were 40 men that um, proclaimed the fast. We're not going to eat until we kill the, um, the apostle Paul is dead. Did the apostle Paul go out there and with Peter and them and jumped these guys one by one? No. The Apostle Paul, he even had to duck them. He had to get a, get a, get a you know, they, there was like a second floor, or third floor, or whatever, and they had to pull him down by a basket. I'm not going to go into scri- scriptures. You know, you know what I'm talking about. 
All right? So the Apostle Paul, oh, when you go to Acts 21, I believe it's Acts 21, where it says, and, they, and as they were led into the uh, castle, the, cap, the captain says, can thou speaketh Greek? Read up before that, it was Israelites when he's bringing the Greeks or the he, the Gentiles, which were Israelites, into the inner, inner, um, the inner uh, temple. You had an outer temple, an outer court, and an inner court. He brought them in the inner court. So these Israelites said, this, look, at, look at what this guy is doing. Look at what he's doing. And they looked to kill him, and they were going to kill him. And then what did he do? He said he was a Roman. He said he was a Roman citizen. What did he do? He used wisdom. So the Roman authorities could help him. Read that. The Apostle Paul didn't get up and get into a Kung Fu stance and start fighting people. The, uh, uh, the Apostles didn't do that. So it was stupid. You see some dang, you see shit hot. You see shit hot, right? You know, you don't, you don't quote scriptures. Like them, like them Palestinians going to wake up. They ain't going to wake up. First of all, they're heathens. Scriptures, the scriptures clearly say be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. What, is it, what does it mean by harmless as a dove? If you see a dove and you run after the dove, what is the dove going to do? The dove's going to fly away. We are, in, we, are, we are sheep in the midst of wolves. The Palestinians were wolves. We were sheep in the midst of wolves, not fighters, not killers. What does a wolf do when it catches a sheep? It tears the sheep apart. So we're to take the low road. We're not here to get into rumbles to show how tough we are. But but that's done because you you guys are young. And you came in the wrong way. You didn't come up come in under no authority. The apostle Paul came in under the authority, man. And he was uh, he was over them. He was he was uh learned. He was he was an expert in the law. And guess what? He came up under the apostles. So what the hell are you talking about, man? Have put that out there and you didn't examine the matter and you didn't inquire diligently concerning what happened and you had a presumptuous judgment. First of all, you're wicked. I'm going to just put that out there because you have violated. And we're going to go through the precepts. We're going to go through the scriptures, the law, statutes, and the commandments because you niggas make me sick, man. And you know what? He's calling us a nigger. He's calling us a nigger. That's, this dude hates GMS. Most of all, he hates GMS. And he's full of pride. Least being a novice, he's new. Was he there in uh, 1992? Was he at the One West? He just came into this thing, what, 2016? Instead of coming in through the straight gate, instead of, come, instead of coming in through the door, he climbed up some other way. So the Most High condemned him, man. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. If you want to watch the rest of this, just go to uh, Watchmen for Israel, Chicago, Palestine, attacked or Wi-Fi Israelites. What really happened? And them small hats should take your side now, because they say, well, they these guys are our heroes. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Pride coming before a fall, before a haughty spirit.